put on it to another uh, edition of my technical analysis. So today is May 5, 2019 and this is my weekly analysis for the coming week. So aside from the uh, uh, currency pair that I showed you earlier, which is the uh, AUD USD, I also found USD, USD, uh, US dollar, Canadian dollar pair as a uh, candidate for a uh, trade buy. So again, um, I am looking for three specific uh, things or, or uh, consideration in doing my trades. So, a uh, Rainer did uh, call this framework. So, basically, these are three uh, things. We have the trend, that we're looking for the trend, the area of value, and our entry trigger. So, for this one, when I look into the trend, again, I am using the uh, 100 moving average the green line see here so when it's uh when the price is above it and we have the uptrend okay so for usually when the uh, when it's in an uptrend we look for long positions but there are also opportunities uh, not for long positions, we also have the pullback where in price is current temporarily moves against the trend. Okay, and then we have also breakout the resistance or support, but we have to be careful for false breakout. But also, we can also do a failure test or trade on false breakout using candle long week or price rejection okay so why we consider usd dollar usd Canadian dollar pair as a candidate for buy so when i look at it the trend is up so there is a buy opportunity i can also see that the may 3 handle is a pullback from may 1 breakout from 1.34027 resistance now support so let me show you that that's okay okay so here is the candle and okay for me this is a uh, pullback from this candle or breakout here so that's why this is also one um, buying of opportunity or buy, buying setup at least in the trend uh, signal so one area is or one thing that we can also look is the area of value so where we usually buy or sell okay, that is the area of value so in this case i am looking for it's near 1.34027 support so this one, this line, this line is the uh, support. Uh, I can uh, buy near that on the opening. Okay. So you can also use the 200 MA, 200 MA, right here. Okay. As your uh, buying or sale area of volume so area of volume and the trend is also paired with the last core framework which is the entry trigger <clears throat> so my entry trigger for this one can be the market price i can uh, usually enter market price in favor in favor of me if i get the if i see the price uh, coming to my area of values okay. so you can also use the uh, 
bullish patterns, candle candle patterns, uh, bullish and golden patterns, shooting star, and so on. You can also use stochastic, but on this uh, pair, I think uh, I don't, I didn't use the stochastic as my entry trigger. So after that, you need to set up your support or stop loss. So I got two possible stop loss here. So one is your support minus 180R. So my uh, average true range for this uh, pair is now 0 0.007 and my support is 134.027. So that's the uh, support minus that 180R is equivalent to 133.327. So that will be my stop loss when I get buy. If I am going to buy near this one. Okay. So you can also use the previous low minus 180R. So the previous low would be 133.770, which is this one. So this candle here from the May 1 candle minus 180R, 0, 0, 0.070, then my stop loss would also be 133.007. So this is my conservative, second one is my conservative stop loss. Okay. So hopefully you have saved your time analyzing Forex candidates for your trading next week. And you also have to consider that on your setup or your analysis if there are incoming high impact news on the week or coming week. And I have seen a high impact news coming on Tuesday and Friday. So let's all be cautious in trading US dollar Canadian dollar pair. So good luck traders. So hopefully we all have a profitable trading week this week. Until next time and of course please do not forget to subscribe to my channel so you can receive immediately if I do have a new video on this channel. So thank you very much and see you soon.